What's up guys? Welcome to the 45th Xamarin Android tutorial. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the toolbar. Okay. So a, if you guys aren't familiar with that, a toolbar is a brand new widget that's being introduced with material design and it's inevitably going to replace the action bar. Okay. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about how to take the toolbar and make it an action bar. Okay. Cause there's really two ways you can do a toolbar. And one of, one of them is the way I'm going to show you right here is how to, how to, set it as the action bar okay and then that way you can get some rich features out of the toolbar and the other way is to set it wherever you like like down on the bottom or anywhere any, anywhere inside the screen which is what we're going to do in the next video okay so this is going to be a common task for a lot of us switching over to material design is we want the rich features for the toolbar because it is a view group so we can put stuff and we can put widgets inside of it we can customize it further than the, than the normal action bar so we're going to want to convert it okay whether they are existing or create it and then make it our action bar okay so this video is going to demonstrate how to do that quickly okay so let's go ahead and make a toolbar guys all right and over here what we do what we have is our application which is just a blank application okay and over here i've added the reply and undo pngs okay and that's it all right so the first thing we're going to want to do is you want to grab a reference to the support library okay because the toolbar for the pre lollipop devices is going to be in the support library version 7 okay and you can go ahead and get that over here so if you want to go ahead and download it manually then you can come into the component store over here and download it from your browser or you can actually get it from adding it in here in the component store okay but sometimes this gives me problems so i like to just reference it manually if it is giving me problems okay so I'm going to add the reference for both of them. Okay. So when you download seven, it'll, it'll download four as well. And then I'm going to add that to my project. Okay. So now that we have our support library ready to go, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this template code. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create a style. Okay. So, what I, the easiest way to set up the action bar is to set up a, a theme, okay, which inherits from the app compat theme, okay? So let's go ahead and create a style, okay? We're gonna create, we're gonna create a global theme, okay? So let's do a new item. And you can really call it whatever you like, just make sure it's an XML file. But most people call it styles. And then it's gonna be resource resources okay and then let's let's go ahead and create a style okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna create a style we'll name it my theme okay because it's going to be a theme that we're going to put on the, the entire activity and then we're going to inherit from one of the built-in themes okay and then it's going to have to inherit from at compat or any of its base themes okay so we'll do at compat make sure that's capital and then i'm going to do light okay All right, so now that we have our style, we can start we can start overriding some properties, okay? So the first one is very imperative, okay? So it's gonna be window action bar, and we wanna make sure we set that to false, okay? Because we wanna set this to false, guys, is because we're gonna make the toolbar the action bar, okay? So if we don't, if we don't set this false, it's gonna give us a, a runtime error, okay? So make sure this is set to false, so the action bar goes away, and then we'll set our, we'll set our toolbar to the action bar, okay? Another good way uh, to do this is to do no action bar, and then you won't have to do this, okay? So it's really up to you, but if you're already using the light or dark or one of its, one of its uh, sub themes, then you could just leave it like that and then just make sure you include this to be no, to no action bar, okay? And the next one we're gonna set is the, the actual primary color, okay, of the theme, okay? And this can be whatever you like, of course, but what I'm gonna set it to is, fix this little typo. What I'm gonna set this to is one of, like that, that blue color that you guys saw earlier, okay? And that's with this hex value, okay? Now I'm gonna copy and paste some other stuff that I'm gonna actually comment out that you can get from the, the Google developer uh, website okay on material design and this just gives you some other stuff that you can play with like primary dark and accent and some highlight colors for all your for all your themes okay 
So this will set your theme over the activity or the whole application, depending on where you set it at inside of the manifest. But these are some things that you can also play with, but we're just gonna leave these two, all these things commented out and then just these two items that were, we necessarily need, okay? So now that we have our theme, so we can go ahead and close our styles, okay? And then inside of the main activity, which we are right now, let's go ahead and set that theme, okay? And we can do that in Xamarin pretty easily by going theme equals at style, and then we'll do my theme. Okay, so this will set the style, the theme to the, this entire activity, okay? So now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure we inherit from action bar activity, okay? And that'll give us, uh, it won't recognize it at first, so because that's in the support library, so we need to make sure that we include it here, all right? And the action bar activity is just something that actually it's, extends from the fragment activity, so it gives us a whole bunch of some um, tools to use with a support library, okay? So make sure you're inheriting from the action bar activity. All right. Now, the next thing that we need to do, we need to actually create our toolbar. Okay. So this is where it gets a little different, of course, because in the action bar, you don't actually create the action bar. Uh, the system basically does it for you, but the toolbar is just another view group. That's what's cool about it. So what we want to do is we actually, we're going to have to create the toolbar. Okay. So the way that you can do that is let's go ahead and get rid of all this code. And we're gonna, we're gonna do this by hand since it's gonna be the first time. So we'll do Android support v7 widget. This is where it's at in the library. That's all I'm referencing. And then of course we wanna do import the namespace. And this one will suffice. Okay. Give ourselves some room. And we need one more namespace. It's going to be HTTP schemas. And we'll do dot Android dot com slash APK auto. Okay. And let's just do this for right now. Okay, so this is gonna be our toolbar, okay? So we're gonna need to give it some attributes like, like all the other widgets that we that we uh, use, okay? So let's go inside of here. And then let's give it an ID, okay? We're gonna get, need to give it an ID so that we can reference it inside of code. And we'll just call it toolbar. And then we'll do layout height. So we're gonna need to give it a height, okay? And we want the height to wrap content, okay? And you can also do the, you want you want to set the minimum height to something else, okay? So you wanna set the min height to be at least the size of the action bar, okay? And then what you can do that is question mark, at, and then you can do action bar size, okay? So this will actually set it to the size of a normal action bar, okay? And then we'll, next thing we wanna do is we're gonna to want to give it a background. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna set it to color primary. And notice that that color primary is this gonna be, it's gonna be this color primary right here, okay? So that's where we're gonna get that value from. Color primary, whatever value we'll get right here will be applied to right here. Okay, guys. And then now, actually, you know what? Let's hold off on that right now. And what we'll do is we'll finally give it a width and then we'll set it to match parent. And then I'm gonna show you how to do a dark action bar as if, if you wanted to do one. But let's go ahead and, and we'll run it first and we'll make sure that it's looking the way we, what it should, okay? So that's pretty much the bare minimum that we need right now. Let's go ahead and go back over to our main activity. And we're, we're gonna wanna make a toolbar, okay? So we're gonna wanna reference the toolbar just like we normally do with any other widget, okay guys? So let's do private and we'll do toolbar, okay? And 
let's make sure that see now this widget is actually Android widget toolbar. So this is the one that's in the actual uh, library that's going to be used for API 21. So we don't want that one. Okay, guys. So to, in order to make sure that we're using that, let's go ahead and do Android support. We want the one from the support library. Okay. So it's easy to get those two confused and you might be like, what the heck's going on if you get a runtime error. So make sure you're getting the toolbar from the support library, not the normal library. Okay. So here down here, now that we have that, we'll do toolbar. And then we can do the find view by ID. We're going to cast that to a toolbar. And then we're going to need the ID of the toolbar. Okay. Which is, we named it toolbar. Now this one's important guys. We're going to need to call a method called support set support action bar. Okay. And this is what actually sets the action bar to our toolbar. Okay. And there we go. And then now from now on, what we can do is we can call the action bar with a property support action bar. So now that is going to be our action bar. And that when inside of here is now what we can do anything with it, which the title, remember I had it earlier in the video, it said, yay for the tool bar. And that's how I did it. Okay. So this is where you can set a lot of the properties by calling the support action bar. All right. That looks good. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to create a quick menu. Okay. So the menu member for any action bar, you, I'm sure you guys have worked with action bars before where you've just inflated menus. Okay. And that's going to be the same exact thing. Okay. So we're going to want to create a menu a menu folder, and then we're going to want to create a XML file called, we'll call it action underscore menu action underscore menu. Okay. And since we've done this before, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this real quick. And this is going to be, this is going to add our two icons. Okay. Reply and undo. Okay. And that's all that we're going to need to do there. Save it. Now, remember, because we set this to the support action bar, basically Android says, okay, well, so you set this, you set this to the support action bar. Then I'm going to take all the stuff that you want to inflate. And instead of putting it in the action bar, I'm going to inflate it on the toolbar. And this is really helpful guys, because this takes a look, this takes care of a lot of work for us. Okay. So the last thing we need to do is we need to inflate the, the action bar, which is now just a toolbar, right? So we'll do override on create options menu. Okay. So a lot of you guys have probably already done this before. And what's nice is that it doesn't change whether you're using the action bar or the toolbar. Okay. And that's not coming up, right? If you don't get any IntelliSense, it's just because you just haven't rebuilt, which like I haven't. So that's no problem. Once it rebuilds, it should go away. Okay. So now it's going to inflate the icons on top of the toolbar and then all is going to be good to go. Hopefully. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a full rebuild on this so that it rebuilds the support libraries and all the stuff that we have in the designer. Okay, so we got to rebuild. Everything looks good. It succeeded. Always good news. Now that we got the rebuild, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so what we should see guys is a, a action bar that is actually a toolbar that uh, is has all the icons inflated on it. Okay, and that's because of this method call right here. And that's a simple fix. We just need to go into the, to the properties because I'm running the Nexus 5 emulator. So what I need to do is I need to change the properties to, let's, we'll use 21 and 21. And that should get us running. So what this is doing, I'm just compiling with a version 21, but my minimum target version is 15 and it could even go lower than that because I'm using the support library, which will support all the way back to 
7, uh, API 7, of course. Okay, cool. So notice that the difference between this video or this this uh, this version and the one that I showed you in the, in the previous in the earlier of this video was actually this was white and this was white too, and that's because we left something out. Okay, um, I did it intentionally, of course, because I wanted you to see if you actually want to make a dark action bar, then what you can do is you can actually set a theme directly on the toolbar okay so that's really cool we don't have to set it we can set a theme on the activity and then we can set another theme directly on the action bar okay so we'll do app compact dark action bar and then we can have the pop-up theme which is what pops up when the uh when the overflow is actually hit okay so then that way we'll, we can have even the nurse style we'll have call it at style and then theme overlay app compact and then we'll do light so this will mimic a dark action bar with a dark background and light icons okay and a light pop-up theme as well all right so if you do want to keep that and, and any other variations of course will work as well if you have like a theme where you use a dark action bar or light action bar you can just change around the theme and the pop-up theme directly on the toolbar and then it'll change just on that okay so a really cool way to do that let's see so that should have turned white let's go ahead and go back and see why that it didn't and then just a good little lesson for myself as well is we need to change those to app okay because these are this is going to be for the support library that we got to use app okay so that actually is a good uh, demonstration of what the the this second namespace is for. Okay, so when you this is going to be support library specific, of course. So we want to make sure that we use app instead of Android. Okay, and this is going to be can be named anything you like, of course. Uh, but I just chose it to name app for my own self. So let's go ahead and run this one more time, guys, and make sure that it is working. And what we should expect to see is a light a light text and a light icon. Uh, action bar okay and there it is all right and this is going to be light as well but you can also change this dark so you can really do uh, really much a lot a lot with this toolbar it's very highly customized uh, customizable and what I've shown you right here is just really just the scratching the surface of what it can do and what it's all about okay which in the next video what we're going to be doing is taking a look at using the toolbar in a standalone way, which is a way to say that it's not just tied and committed to up here at the top screen, but because it's its own view group, we can really unleash the toolbar and do some cool stuff with it and put it down here or put it really anywhere we want. So it's no longer restricted to just the top like the action bar. And that's when it really the toolbar, you begin to see why the toolbar is, is so customizable and how it really differs from the action bar. Okay, so that's gonna be in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.